Hi, everyone. Hi everyone. Welcome back to the Fall Garden Series. It's great to be fall. It's actually a yes, nice, cool morning out here today. And today we are going to be pulling out the old and planting some peas. Yes, I actually like this time of year because you get rid of all the old dead stuff and you get to see a brand new bare trellis and then watch everything grow again. And it's just beautiful. It's I like really it. nice to have a fresh start. So Jerry, you up for the challenge today? Let's do it. This is going to take us a little bit of work, but we got this, right? right. Okay, here we go. These were scarlet runner beans that we grew all summer long. They are brown. Oh my gosh, a little butterfly right here. Oh, wow, wow, that is so beautiful. Look at that. I don't want to touch. Me, oh, wow, look at the. Oh, there he goes. Uh, he flew away. Whew, this is really overgrown back in here. I actually never pulled out the peas from last winter. So I'm just going to get down here and start clipping. Yeah, that's actually never been a favorite spot of mine to film because it's just so hard to get in there. <laughs> Glad someone else is it doing is. it. It is. Our friend Dana is filming for us today. But I'm just going along here, along the drip irrigation. I'm just cutting the stems. And Jerry, you can just start pulling stuff off the front. They're really dead, so it's going to come out super easy. Okay. I'm literally going to have to crawl through this garden bed. <laughs> Hope there's no bugs or critters in here. The runner beans are drying on the pod. And what I can do is actually pop these open, and these are gorgeous, gorgeous beans. And I can just put them right in the soil and they will come up next year when it gets a little bit warmer. Oh man, this stuff is on there. We may have to cut some of that too. There it goes. Look hey, at that. not too bad. These beans are filled with aphids, so. Oh. No, it's no big deal. Yeah. They're not going to hurt you. Yeah. This isn't sure. But I am going to save these dried pods. Oh yeah, you save those all the time, huh? Yeah, because they can be replanted or the inside beans can be dried. <clears throat> Just be prepared to be covered in leaves and aphids when we're done. Look at all the aphids here. Mm, Hang on. Now let's, she tells let's me. Let's get you a have shot that. of the aphids. There's tons of them in here. Is that what that is? All the white. Yeah. Okay. So I have to take a shower after this. Yeah, we will be good and dirty. Yeah, for the most part, it's peeling off pretty good. Now, one thing I like to look for when you're deciding whether to take out an old plant is first of all the appearance. Obviously, the appearance of these is pretty bad. So they definitely need to come out. The second thing is how much are they producing? Now these are pretty much at the end of their life. So definitely I'm um, ready to come out. The third thing is, are they pest or bug inf or disease or bug infected, bug infested? And like I said, we definitely have tons of aphids. You're a real gardener now, Jerry. You got aphids on you. Yeah. It's a gardener's life. <laughs> I love it how you didn't mention that until we started shooting. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Sorry. Uh, I don't know if I, broke anything but I accidentally put the <laughs> put it in the cage thing okay that's okay this is uh, these are squash so we can always move this cage thought I broke it this whole um, container out of the way if we need to it's kind of at the end of its life too so not a big deal got lucky on this one Jerry <laughs> I'm always worried about breaking stuff here okay hang on a second we do have beans attached to that trellis on the other side there we go that was a good pull yeah, look at this here. These are all bugs. All that brown. Those are alive? Well, yeah, I think they are, actually. Oh. <laughs> I've actually never seen them this bad before. No, me neither. Now I got the heebie jeebies. Wow, that looks good. Okay, I am just spraying off the trellis here to get all the aphids off because I don't want them dropping down on the garden bed. Since we've been growing beans in here for quite some time, we're definitely going to amend the garden bed before we plant the peas. So we're going to add some compost and some worm castings, just loosen up the soil a little bit. I'm only going to plant peas on the front of the trellis. I always tend to pack my garden beds too full. So uh, the sun's coming in at the front of the trellis. So that's where the peas are going to go. 
So we've got things loosened up here along the drip irrigation. I'm gonna add in some of my fresh, well, it's not exactly fresh, it's been around for a while, but some homemade compost. It smells so good and so earthy, and that'll add some good nutrients to the soil to help our peas grow. Now, the cool thing about peas and beans is they do um, add nitrogen to the soil, so we don't have to amend it super heavily. And I'm just sprinkling it in here right along the spot where I'm gonna be planting. And I'm also going to add in some of the Vermistera worm castings. Worm castings really help uh, loosen up the soil and help the microbes and all the beneficial bacteria. But if your soil is dry, you want to kind of moisten it up and then just mix in your compost and your worm castings so your soil is nice and loose. Man, it sure feels good to get my hands in the soil. If you don't have your own compost, you can throw in some uh, granular fertilizer that you could grab at the garden center. Just want to make sure it's a balanced fertilizer. So all the NPK numbers on the back of the bag should be fairly close to the same, like a 543, a 555. Don't worry too much about the numbers, just get some fertilizer in the soil to help your plants grow. Now for the fun part, planting the peas. Peas are a cool weather vegetable, so they're great to plant in your fall garden. Now, if you're in a southern climate like I am here in Southern California, now is a great time to start your peas. It usually is a little bit hot until November, October, November, which it is right now. They love temperatures of 75 degrees or under, and they'll even take light frosts. And once you plant them, you can harvest them in about eight weeks. So it's a really fun vegetable to plant. Now, we're gonna plant some peas today from my fall garden seed collection and from my pea seed collection. And I've got a sale going this weekend, 20% off with the code Happy Fall, just to kick off fall here in the garden. Three different types of peas you can plant. The snap peas, the sugar snap peas, which we're gonna plant first. These are sugar and sugar snap peas. These are delicious, uh, really sweet peas with edible pods. You can start peas from seed indoors if you want to, but they actually grow a lot better if you just plant them directly in your garden beds. There's tons of ants in here. Super easy to plant. You can just uh, put the seed there and then push it down about an inch or so into the soil. Cover it up. And I'm planting it right by the drip hose so it gets plenty of moisture. And you want to plant them in full sun. Again, cooler temperatures, about 75 to 80 degrees. You can plant them in the shade, but they won't be quite as productive. But if you live in a hot climate where you don't get super cool temperatures, you can definitely do that too. The second type of peas that we're going to plant today are snow peas. Now, if you've ever had snow peas, you know that it's kind of a flat pod with smaller beans inside. These are called Royal Snow Peas for my pea seed collection. These are a gorgeous pea. The seeds are purple and the peas are purple too. They're absolutely beautiful. But snow peas are kind of a flat pod, edible pod again. Snow peas are delicious, flat, sweet pods used a lot in Asian cuisine, sautés, stir fries. They are so delicious. And I like to plant peas of different colors along the same trellis. I think it just looks so pretty. So we'll have our sugar and snap peas and our purple royal snow peas right next to each other. It'll be a really pretty look. So we've got the sugar snap peas planted. We've got the snow peas planted. The third type of pea that's fun to plant in the garden is the shelling pea. Now these are absolutely delicious. If you love fresh actual peas, not the pea pods, you want to plant a lot of the shelling peas. The pods are inedible and then um, once they grow and the pods kind of plump up, you actually open the pods up, take the peas out, and they are the sweetest, tastiest peas you've ever had. These are the Wando pea from the pea seed collection. I grew them last year for the first time and absolutely loved them. Now the cool thing about peas is right now the soil temperature is pretty warm because we've had warm temperatures. They're going to germinate very, very quickly. Um, when, when you plant them in the spring, if your soil temperature is cold, they're going to germinate a lot slower. But here I can probably expect them to pop up within possibly even two to three days. Now we are expecting some warmer temperatures later in the week, but hopefully that will be short-lived. The spot gets nice full sun, so I think we're going to get a lot of growth out of these peas. Feels great to have some peas planted. Those are one of my favorite garden snacks, so I can't wait to see this trellis filled again with some fresh peas. Well now what I'm going to do is mulch the top of the soil. really helps uh, conserve the moisture, helps uh, when it gets hot or when it gets cold. 
to help insulate the soil. And then these leaves break down over time, bring in the worms like crazy. So it's really nice to see that too. Now, one thing that's really fun about growing peas is not only can you grow them right in your garden beds, but you can also plant them in containers. So my pea seed collection and my container garden seed collection has a smaller variety of peas called Little Marvel. You can plant directly in containers. You can actually plant any variety of peas in containers. A five gallon, a 10 gallon, a 20 gallon smart pots or container works great. And you always do want to grow them on a trellis because they like to climb up and you don't want them sprawling all over the ground. Let me know if you're going to be growing peas along with me this fall. It's such an amazing vegetable. You're going to love having your own fresh peas in your garden. And it is so nice to see this bed cleared out again. New growth, new beginning. Can't wait. Head over to CaliKimGardenHome.com, grab a fall garden seed collection or a pea garden seed collection. Let's all grow together. We're going to have so much fun. And don't forget, you guys, to tune in this Friday, October 1st, episode three of the Gardening Coast to Coast podcast drops. Hey, you guys, it is so fun to watch Kim doing the podcast. You need to check it out. Definitely check it out, guys. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Bye.